Let's get this going. There, ready. We're all set. Now, to begin, tell me, what do you see? I don't know. Okay. Try this. Focus on your vision. Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. We've got a problem. Call them back. Come on, damn it, hurry up. Calm down, maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck, damn it. It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept and then bam, a code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it. This has gotta be bad, Amem. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure... You don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. But security is Jara's problem, Yeah, normally. except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. What comes after phase two? Just pray that it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. We run, we leave everything behind, and we go into hiding as far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? What do you think? I know how to behave, Jay. Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool and it'll be fine. Ah, my little darlings. You're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. 
The prince asked to see you as soon as you arrived, Amin. I wouldn't dilly-dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a code red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. You know, back in the day, nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Emin. My dear Emin. I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please, you're way out of your league here. This alliance with the heart for Chantry is crucial. The prince is on edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Listen, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you right now. It's gonna be a long night. Miss Lewis, welcome. like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What, what about that bearded guy who's what swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock, then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. Is court attendance usually this sparse? What was rule number two? Don't talk too much. And never talk about yourself. You don't trust anyone, do you? Not anyone here. And you'd be wise to do the same. I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time. And he is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood.
He is tortured by a demon. We all have one. The beast that preys upon him is a love of money. <laughs> if someone held a stick to his heart and cried your money or your unlife, he'd ask you for some time to think it over. It's his greed, then, that cost him your favor? Everything about him was disappointment. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on, then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda. She needs to grow up. Leave us. I don't need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring. Do you know what this code red is all about? You're in the primogen. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey, of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. What about Jara? I haven't seen her. Councillor Drory is not here, nor is Dr. Dunham. What a shitty night. Hazel must be pissed. What the hell could she want with me?
everything okay, Mom? Penny, for your thoughts? Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. It seemed like an eternity without you. I missed you too, Mom. I need my sweet little monster. Mom? What's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie, but don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. Alicia, it's been a while. Hey, Amen. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That or she's a major drama queen. You shouldn't make light of the situation, believe me. There aren't many of us who have experienced a code red and survived. Thanks for the heads up, Professor Bazori. First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. Siaka jumped down my throat. Was I supposed to let him take his nerves out on me? No, I'm sorry. That's not how things work, Bazori. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't gonna help us solve it. We're all in danger. When I awoke, I sensed a threat everywhere, all around us. I've never felt anything like it. Please, explain. It was as if we were all going to disappear into chaos. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now.
Hazel. Dalsim. Come in, M.M. I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the code red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the Warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring Journey to me. She hasn't done anything. Hazel. I'll be the judge of that. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now... They've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. The Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I, uh, what? You've always taken care of your community, M.M. Without ever asking for anything in return, it might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? I don't know. I need to think about it. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it, but we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can count on me. What the hell is going on? M.M., I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh, serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. I get it, I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. No news from anyone. Do you think this? Now's not the time to be thinking about that. We're not the I only never ones liked the stuff out. before. Look around. Why would exactly. I want it in the blood I drink We've now? Keep our wits about us. Got it? Yeah. Follow me. Yes, ma'am.
won't take long. Going. Absolutely divine. All a right, Jack. Where the are mountain. you hiding? And then there are the palaces, the mosaics, I the gardens, and the vibrant youth population. Victoria! M.M. My little rose. It's been so long. An eternity, you mean. And yet, look at you. As splendid as always. I've learned from the best. Adorable. How are you? Uh, this is a rather depressing night for a reunion. What about you? You chose a bad time to visit us. Oh, don't remind me. To think I was so happy to return to Boston after so many years. Ugh, the trip was to be amazing. Hey, the night's still young. It might be nothing at all. You're right. Everyone is so tense, it's starting to rub off on me. I hear business is going well for you. Your black rattlers are making quite the splash. You can be proud of everything you've accomplished, darling. Your name is on everyone's lips. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. I'm really happy to see you again. I wish I had more time to talk. Is there something stopping you? You could say that. One of my acquaintances is in hot water with Miss Iverson. I need to help her. I'm going to give you a piece of advice then. Don't waste your energy helping others. Let others handle their own problems. Their mistakes aren't your business. Journey is someone I can trust. I can't let her down now. Is Journey a prince? No. Then her opinion doesn't matter. The only individuals who should matter to you are royalty. The rest, they're just for decoration. Thanks for the advice, Victoria. You've helped put things into perspective. It's only natural. I'll always be here for you, darling. And I hope the feeling is mutual. You know it is. Wonderful. I'm relieved to see that despite the travails of time and distance, our friendship is still intact. What are you doing in town anyways? The last time I heard about Victoria Ash, she'd just gotten back to Atlanta. You know I never stay in one place for long. But to answer your question, I came to do business. For the agreement, I'm guessing. You guessed right. I'd hoped to meet up with one of my associates tonight, a warlock I'd sent to Hartford. Unfortunately, he still hasn't made his appearance. He might still come. The night's not over yet. Oh, you're refreshingly naive. We'll see. I'm sorry, but I've gotta go. I understand. Duty calls, but before you leave, I have a favor to ask you. I mentioned my emissary earlier. If you hear anything about him, please let me know when you get back, would you? I thought I was only supposed to focus on my prince. Have you had a change of heart? Huh, you're using my own words against me? 
It's a big favor. I'm aware of that. But I'm a loyal friend, and powerful too. If you can do this for me, I'll owe you one. Fine. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Oh, thanks, M.M. I hope I'll see you again soon, darling. If you need anything, I'll be right here. Thanks, Victoria. See you later. Yes, darling? Mm, I've got to go. See you later, darling. Can I help you? Miss Lewis. I know that perfume. Jay. <gasps> I... Shit. Where did you go, Jay? Underwood and Fang. Bazaar's ears must be burning. and Lazarus. Mm, I smell gossip. Took the elevator to get here. Oh, you again. What do you want? What a nightmare. Zul's gonna want answers.
April, have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but what if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake and how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst? Destruction? Yeah, there's a good chance of that. You can tell me my lips are sealed. The only way I can make sure you don't talk is to keep my own lips sealed. Fine. I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah. Sure. What attitude? It's a good thing I was careful earlier. there. Where could she have gone after that? You... you want to... I... shit. I... shit. Okay. Sure. told you to be careful. Sorry, I got carried away. It's all right, as long as it stays between us. But watch out, this kind of slip up could cost us big out there. I know, I know. Hey, Abby. Hey, M.M. It's been a while. Can I help you? I've got to talk to Jay. You haven't seen her, have you? No, you should ask April. Already did. Didn't get much out of her. Oh, um, I don't know what to tell you. I'll manage, thanks. Do you still work for April? Well, aren't you rude? My loyalty is with the court. <laughs> Seems like Bosley's leading you around by the nose, though. She's got... Some extra responsibilities, sure. But that's it. I have my own agenda. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. I've got stuff to do. See you later.
kill us. You... You want to... Hey, what now? You seem busy. I'll leave you alone. You catch on quick.
said Kala Sa. Jay always got along well with her sire. Lucky bitch. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Is dead. I've got to hurry. I'm not supposed to be here. No fucking way. Shit. So this what? is where you've been. Oh, hiding. Jesus, it's you. You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? You're really bad at covering your tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, ma'am. It's a fucking nightmare. The code red is definitely because of the party. April told me Hazel was gunning for me. She thinks I'm responsible for this shit show. So you're hiding in Drury's room? I'm looking for evidence. I saw that Jara had the file on the party. It's got all the contracts and stuff in it that will prove I did my job right. But I can't find them. It was my only shot to defend myself against her. Hey, slow down. It's gonna be all right. They don't have anything on you, do they? No, of course not. I did everything right, ma'am. I was the one who rented the place. Same as always. Rooftop, away from prying eyes. I met with Richard to organize the vessels. I arranged for limos to be sent for the Hartford Chantry. I went through the same secure limo agency as usual. They're ours, so there's no risk. What the hell could have gone wrong? I don't know. But there's no time to think about it. Hazel wants to see you. I... And she asked you?
It's gonna be fine, Jay. I'm sure you can explain everything. I'm scared, ma'am. Don't worry about anything. I'm here. I'll follow you. Laisha, it's good to see you. Be good, sweetie. How was your reunion with Halsey? Thank you, Hazel. Your gift was wonderful. You shouldn't have troubled. You're welcome. We should never have kept you apart for this long. Good evening, Delson. Good evening, Laisha. How are you feeling? I feel great. Better and better since I got my little sugar fangs back. Wonderful. I haven't seen Richard yet. Does he know I've been released from the Institute? No, I'm the Prince. It was my decision. He is your psychiatrist, but you don't need his permission for everything. He wasn't at the party, was he? I'm searching for everyone who's still missing. Don't worry about him. Thank you. Laisha, I know I can be frank with you. For four years, I have been working to heal the city's wounds. You've already helped me avoid traps in the past. You're not like the other children of Malkav. Quentin King knew that. The Mad King. I remember, yeah. I had you released from the Institute because your premonitions are the most detailed, the most accurate. I wanted them to help me understand the Chantry's hand more clearly before we signed our agreement with them. But this alert changes everything. 
I need to understand what's just happened. Did you sense anything, possibly about what happened tonight? <laughs>